Michael, we love you. We love your family. We've been praying for you. We've been praying for your family. We love you, man. We stand in agreement with you. The strength of God envelop your heart. And even as you serve and you give out to other people that God would replenish you and renew your strength and, and comfort you and lift your head. Come and let me pray for you. I, I, I know what it is to serve and be hurting. I know what it is to give out to other people and need strength myself. I pray that the strength of God would overshadow you, that he would comfort your heart, that he would be the sweet comforter that the word says he is and touch you and your wife and your children and give you peace and power and victory and strength and healing and virtue and glory from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, the strength of the mighty God, stand up in you. Hallelujah! Bear you up and comfort you and give you grace and give you strength and give you mercy. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. This is sacrifice. That's what I mean by sacrifice. Anytime you can lose your daughter and still come and sing and bless other people, you ought to stop feeling sorry for yourself and pray. You see sacrifice and service and commitment? That's commitment. Sometimes I hear that amazing voice he has, and I know God had to give it to him. Because I feel it like that, but it don't come out like that. He, he, he sings it like we feel it, doesn't he? And it doesn't seem like, it almost don't seem fair that somebody could sing that good. But now I see why God gave it to him. He can trust him. Do you know how few people could lose a child and come and sing a song like that while they are grieving? People will stay home because they don't have a full tank of gas or their back hurts or their knee hurts. And this boy with a broken heart is still trying to bless you. That's what I mean about sacrifice. 